Good morning, plant friends. This is an ideal morning to come out and plant. It's a little overcast today. It's really peaceful out here. So I'm going to try to place some of these plants where I think they may work. But of course, you can always change your mind later. Dig them up and put them where you think they do best. Okay, here we go. right little lady do your thing take care of those bugs make babies sorry guys due to some issues with the audio I decided to go ahead and do this voiceover so you could hear me um here I'm digging in this red clay dirt not my favorite thing to do it's, you know, hard. I really didn't have, have it in me this morning to do this, but I decided to just keep plugging away to get it done because then I can just enjoy the yard once I get all these projects out of the way. So anyway, you see me struggling here with this soil. There you go, it turns into literally rock. So here I'm trying to amend with a little bit of garden soil. It's not a bad idea when you plant to throw some garden soil or some soil conditioner, something like that. So it's hard to see due to the sunshine, but that is Gara that I'm planting for the first time in my yard. It's just a pretty pop of pink in the yard. looks really nice. And it's perennial, so it should return year after year. Okay, guys, so I wanted you to see the difference when you amend your soil with um, soil conditioner. That clay soil mixes with that and becomes a lot easier to handle. The roots of your plants will be happier as well. I just wanted to show you the difference. 
You can also amend it with garden soil, as you saw me do in that hole. I didn't really use a lot though, so I don't know how much that will matter, but your plants would be happier. See the way the soil is breaking up in my hands? It wasn't like that originally. Clay soil is hard to deal with, but you can work around it. Don't let it stop you doing what you want in the yard. Here, I planted this, color-coded, the price is white. It's a um, echinacea, cone flower, and I stomped it up the other day, but it looks like it's trying to come back. So I'm just trying to be mindful of this section so I don't ruin it. I'll keep the tag there as a reminder until this plant gets up speed with its growth. So much for today being a nice overcast day. This is why I should have been here early in the morning before the sun hit this area, but it's okay. It could be a lot worse. Okay. Let me plant one more allium and then this bed will be ready for mulching. This area here is mainly red clay, so I am trying to add garden soil where I see it's needed. And this Millennium Allium Ornamental Onion is what I'm planting here, so you see me adding bulb tone because these are actual perennial bulbs that will return year after year. So just want to give it a good start. They have the cutest little globes, um, purple color flowers that should be coming soon. I hope sometime this summer. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling guys, as you know. If I haven't mentioned it before, my allergies are really out of control as I've been spending so much time outdoors. And it doesn't matter if I take medicine, I'm still out here sniffling like crazy. So today I choose not to mess with the medicine again. I'm also planting some lavender in this bed. Elegance, purple lavender, and I see little buds are coming, so it should be blooming soon. It smells fabulous. 